what is up everybody this is always back with another video uh, this is uh, a media application what I created in Java FX I've done a tutorial for this but today's tutorial is going to be how to upload your project to github let me show you github first so if you're not sure what is github github is a place where you can share your project upload your source code so people can download your source code help you out and um, it's it's really good a lot of developers upload their codes here so it's a really good platform to learn programming as well so if you're learning any programming language i would recommend go to github and search for a project in particular programming language there's a lot of repositories here I have three repositories here, Notepad, Media Player and Calculators. I've done the video for these three applications. So if you watch my tutorial on how to create one of these applications and you want the source code, you can come to GitHub and download these projects. You can search for my name, this is Awais Mirza. And today I'm going to be showing you how to upload your source code or projects to GitHub very easily. So I'm going to be using NetBeans, so this is a media project and simply you see that a menu on the top uh, theme so simply click on that and then go to git and then click on initialize repository and then click ok it's going to build that repository for us so once it build you'll see the green uh, text uh, on the file names right and then you will go to theme again and then click on commit so here I will type uh, let's say this is a media project you can type whatever you want it's uh, information about your uh, project so I'm gonna click on commit yes I'm the default author and then I'm gonna go back to github and then we're gonna create a new repository so just click a new repository and then uh, name it. So I'm going to name it a Java FX, Java FX of uh, a media player. All right, so simply click on create repository. You could add some additional uh, information, but that's an optional. And now you need to copy this HTTPS path. Uh, you could use SSH as well, uh, NetBeans support both of them so I'm just gonna copy this once you copy that you need to know your username and password for github accounts very simple you just have to sign up for github it's free let's go back to NetBeans now and then click on team again you will see a different menu now once you initialize the repository and now you go to remote and then click on push and now you need to paste your path what you copied from github right and then enter your username and password and i'm gonna save the password for later use as well so click on next it's gonna try connecting to repository and then you select the branch which is a master branch i'm gonna select click on next again and select this if it's not selected and then click on finish so once it's uh, finishing the uploading so i'm going to click on yes and it's going to upload that to github now now we go back to github and look at it if it's there or not so i'm going to click on code and as you can see that we have a media project here uh, it might not um, have upload all the uh, files yet because it's still uploading if i go back to netbeans it's still running for some reason it's uh, uploading let's go back to tab it's a very small project shouldn't take that long so let's click on code again and let's see how many project how many files we have so I'm just gonna go back to media it's still uploading I'm just gonna pause the video and once it uploads I'll show you guys alright so all the files have been uploaded and uh, yeah that was a quick tutorial how to upload your projects to github using NetBeans. So thanks for thanks for watching and if you like the video smash that like button and for more videos like this stay tuned subscribe to our channel and if you have any question let me know in the comments below or you can follow me on Twitter at oasemirza01. I have a Facebook group for programmers as well so if you want to join that I'll link in the description if you have any questions so I could answer you over there as well. 
So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.